Um, hi guys, subscribe to my channel, leave a like, put a comment and share this video with your friends, if you have them of course, and I believe. Uh, I'm not counting by the way. Uh, okay, so let's go and first of all I would like to check my channel stats with you, so... Um, uh, <clears throat> Okay, so we did not get any new subscribers after the night, and also we don't have any comments. Okay, no problem. Uh, okay, so let's uh, continue. Um, as you remember, in the previous one, we were uh, started to watch uh, Vim, and we were watching, I guess, main. Uh, main CPP, right? Uh, but I just did uh, uh, some mark, okay? Yep, here it is. So, what is the number? Okay, one, one. Okay, so we can actually open it. Uh, plus one, one, straight, I guess, right? Okay. Uh, Get was safe state. Okay, something with safe state. May trigger invoked when leaving code that invokes callbacks. Okay, not very understandable. Then trigger safe state again it, if it was safe when starting to wait for a character. Okay, guys, well, give me one second. I'll check my email. One sec. Okay, I didn't get it. Um, if was safe. If the safe state was reset in the state longer, because if uh, we, okay, no say all cases were consumed, mm. uh, safe state and no. If what, what, wait, what is this? It's like adding just a log message. Okay, I only do this message when another message was given. Otherwise, we get lots of them. So it's like uh, not repeating messages. Uh, they created some flags for the specific repeating stuff. Uh, okay, it's repeated and yeah. Apply auto commands. Again, we have this comment I think will be pretty everywhere in the code because we have some customer provided. Uh, okay, I will grab a water worth it. Okay, so yeah, this one will be pretty everywhere because we have a lot of events and we can have uh, mapped uh, commands for each event. Work pending. Mm, okay. Main loop, execute normal mode commands until ex exiting Vim. Uh, also used to handle commands in the command line window until the window is closed. Also used to handle visual command over global. Execute normal mode. You're going to enter index mode. Okay. Okay. Main loop. Uh, CMD window is like when you are working from command line. No X mode is true when return when entering X mode. I think it's always false by default. Uh, operator arguments. Okay. And other stuff. Previous. Previous good into what? Invite is volatile. Got, any, got into was true. Uh, if it can see what's going to be starting to evolve from parent variables. Okay. So we do this stuff. If we're working in a graphics, we set up catching term indicator from an X server. Just ignore it. Okay. Like restore the state and continue. This might not, not always work. Properly, but at least we don't exit it unexpectedly uh, when the X server exists while Vim is running in a console. 
So and set jump. Okay, sounds cool. Like set jump and long jump and stuff. We watched in C book. Um, state mode normal, visual active false, got in room, need very room, voila, global busy, um, or busy, I don't know how to spell, uh, X mode, skip, redraw, redrawing, disable, no way through, uh, we get C busy, image skip, image off, set mouse, set mode, start term cap, scroll start, redraw later, clear, okay. This is no loop, right? So we clear arguments, and here is a basically here is a basically a while loop, right? If stuff empty, did check timestamps. Uh, if we need to check, check them. If we need to wait, wait. If we need to insert mode, uh, what is this? Uh, if we return, call it now. Okay. Uh, need to start insert mode, stuff read buff. What is this? Stuff read buff. What is this? Start insert mode next. So I is like inserted. Skip the file info message now because it would be shown after the insert mode finishes. Don't. Reset got uh, int now that we got back in the main loop, except when inside a. Uh, okay, so, so this is like some command, right? Um, yes, so this one is doing globally, but by default it's also global. Uh, then got int needs to import the G common. For G pattern VI, what is VI? We reset got in when you just once. When you used second time we go back to X mode and import the G command. Got int. If no X mode and global busy and X mode active previous got int, typed to control C in a row. Go back to X mode as if Q was used and keep what is Q and is uh, keep got int set so that it aborts my uh, G. X mode active, X mode normal, state mode normal, else if global busy and X mode activated. If quite more, void we get C, flush all buffers again. Why do we need to add this? Got int false, previous got int, previous got int. Uh, at the top level, there is no exception handling because it's not C. Discard any that may be hanging around from interrupt at the debug prompt. So if we throw something then and not normally uh, something is not normally discard current exception. And this is if feature allow. Uh, if X mode is not active, message scroll equals false. Write more X will false. It is not safe unless my trigger sale. Is called okay, so it is not safe. Okay, uh, if we skip redraw set for invade return dot redraw now, if there is nothing in the stuff buffer or do redraw is true, update cursor and redraw. Yeah, by the way, there is a cool guy. Um, um I'll just try. Uh, he, I saw him on Twitch, but maybe he's also here. Yeah, 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 so this is like really cool guy. I don't know why he has like only 300, but it's like really cool guy, you know. Uh, maybe his video is too long, so he's updating like only his streams. Uh, I don't know, but I like him. Um, skip reader of all, set, cur set cursor, cursor on. Um, do redraw stuff empty. So if we are in GUI, we resize shell, but well, we don't have shell in GUI. If UI break check was used and resize may have been postponed. Uh, if we have drop file, if files were dropped while text was locked. Okay, so maybe this is so we were already reading in the book, so with the locks right read or the current buffer was locked, 
this would be a good time to handle the drop. Handle any postponed drop. Okay. If conceal uh, and what is it? Current window. Call. I don't know what's called. Conceal update lines. Hold. Trigger cursor move to the cursor spot. Okay, I think it will. Yeah. You see. Uh, if not finish operator and has moved cursor or pop up visible or cursor column or this call is bigger than zeros and and also position is equal I guess not position is equal last cursor move so the yeah the cursor basically is moved I don't know why we need this one because we have like this one right. Uh, if cursor moves, okay, so we has we have again this apply to commons, okay, yes, it's pretty clear. Uh, if pop up visible, then pop up check cursor pause. Uh, well, it's great that I have on my primary screen, it's pretty not too great. <laughs> um, okay, so this is like some stuff with conceal again, I don't understand it, and it's like a feature. Uh, last cursor move, okay. Mm, yeah, so again, I don't just understand the stuff, so I will not go through it. Uh, redraw lines, redraw window line, uh, crow. What is this? Uh, Jason Crow, or how's it, actor? Need cursor line redraw. Trigger text changed if changed tick differs. If finish so if we finished some operation, I guess. And has text changed and current buffer last change tick. So this maybe is uh, we have some ticks, right? Some FPS and uh, yeah. Something like that. Ensure current window top line and current window left column are up to date before triggering a win scroll to auto command. If uh, not, we have not finished operation, may trigger win scroll. May, okay, I like this. May. May. If nothing is pending and we are going to wait for the user to type a character, trigger save state. So maybe save state is like like doing nothing right so not pending anything okay. um ablating diffs from change does not always work for <laughs> because especially ablating faults uh yeah faults are by the way cool stuff uh but i don't use it at all do an update just before withdrawing if needed. So if we have something, some diffs. Ah, yeah, it's yeah, it's again, it's Vim diff right stuff. Uh, so we update. Yeah. Scroll binding for. Diff mode may have been postponed until here. Avoids doing it for every change. We didn't scroll in, then check it, and then, yep. So this one is basically uh, is not only checking, right? It's actually doing something, I guess. Uh, if feature folding, I guess it's like, yeah, I remember. So when you build a Vim, you can like include features, right? So yeah, it's like a Vim is like a uh, actually, it's like a um, Linux kernel, right? Some sort of. Uh, include a closed fall completely in the visual area. Okay. By the way, here, uh, comment is okay, but I mean, we have only one function, so if we name it properly, we in theory don't have any comments. But yeah, of course, it's better, I think, to include comment and just make this function call smaller, right? Uh, 
not exactly. I don't know. When fault close is set, apply fault level to faults that don't contain the curse the cursor. When fold open is all open, the folds under the cursor. So this may mark the window for redoing. So this is like clear logic of uh, folds. So if has any folding in our window and char is available, what does this on earth means? Fold check close uh, if we have some flags and some have to do all. So we so basically we do all flags, right? This is like one on one all all ones. So why do we need actually doing this one? If it's not actually doing anything. Uh, fold open cursor, okay. So it opens fold under the cursor. Before drawing make sure top line is correct and we left column. So top line, I guess it's top line which I don't have right now, which has maybe tabs. And we left column, I also don't have it, but it can have like pluses and minus if you're in kit. If lines don't wrap and we W skip column if lines wrap. Yeah, by the way, let's quickly check. I mean, uh, we know also another uh, program called Emacs. So, and I just want to check the percentage of of lines in so emacs lisp is 55 rough is and c is only 16 percentage so this is um, the key difference between vim and emacs is that like it's mainly emacs is mainly written on its its, its language yeah so is it a good idea or bad i don't know guys um i think it's bad to be honest because nobody knows because well, what is emacs lisp and what does he before you drawing measure and if lines don't wrap and we skip column if lines wrap so update validate uh if visual active update current buffer update inverted inverted bar uh if must redraw then disable flush uh, it's a GUI. Update screen and enable flash. And this one is flashing mechanism, right? Well, but I don't understand. In this cover is a flashing. Else if redraw CMD line, clear CMD line, or redraw mode. Uh, okay, I get some language. Okay, guys. Um. Show mode was show mode. Redraw status lines. Okay. If need make title, make title. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. If Vim info, then current buffer last used Vim time. No, no, it's um, current buffer last used Vim time. Okay, so this is like some specific times and that it was used, right? Display message after redraw. Okay, and this one is maybe updating every time we change something, right? Uh, display message after redraw. So, uh, okay, we're using some bare pointers here. Uh, unsigned, right? Vim, so this one is to use like one byte, right? Instead of like a lot of bytes. But it's like a pointer, right? Uh, Vim string save keep message. If um, I don't know, message start will set a keep message to null. Uh, make a copy first. Don't reset keep message. Message starter keep uses it to check for duplicates. Never put this message in history. Uh, message history of true message attribute keep message okay it's not really uh, um maybe we do something with attributes uh 
why do we do this one? Um, okay, so it's to not like save it to history. Uh, Vim free. So we use like a pointer and we use a Vim free for free. So we have some mechanism for instantiating pointers, and I think it's pretty common like in programming, you know. Um, so file info after redraw. File info. Okay, guys, one second. I will hug my mom just to be clear here. Okay, so let me fly a little bit. Okay. Um. After redraw. File info false. <laughs> yeah, interesting that we use like this K words, right? We created them. Uh, can delete error message now. Uh, reset line left to the end message start. Uh, clear scroll back source. SB scroll back text on the next message. Show ruler. We can ruler what is it on errors. Set cursor, cursor on, cursor on, set cursor. Do redraw. If def startup time and yeah, this is I guess when you benchmark right now that we have drawn the first screen, all the starter stuff has been done. Close any file for startup messages. Um, third screen update, we started. Close time d, time d equals null, so we are closing the time file and as I guess those are being like added to this time file after the first screen update may start triggering window scroll out of commands events store all the scroll positions and sizes now may make initial scroll size snapshot uh, Input mouse correct v mouse correct may request the keyboard protocol state now may send Update uh, window cruise cruise what if we set cruise what has been set a small until here to avoid computing virtual column too often update cruise if a valve may perform garbage collection in C when waiting for a character but only at the very top level otherwise we may be using a list or dict internally somewhere. May garbage collect is reset in this function, which is invoked through this function and this one. Um, okay. If we are invoked as x, uh, do a round of x commands, otherwise, get an execute to a normal mode command. Uh, if x mode, x mode active, if no x mode, end of global pass visual commands go to the end so if we like launch stream back in x mode so just do some comments and we are going to the end so this is actually i guess the only uh, the only right uh, place to to create a go to statement so if you really want to go to the end but again why don't we just create a function and just call that function and in that function we will just call some abort or exit i mean yeah we have a proper mechanism so even here i i think we can avoid using go to and this is great right um do x mode x mode active x mode tweet not sure if we are in the terminal i believe uh if we are using loop, what uh, we are always using, no, and no operators, and not true, not visual active, and skip terminal loop. Uh, if terminal loop returns OK, we get OK uh, that is handled in normal mode. If it's fail, we first need to position the cursor, and the screen needs to be redrawn. 
terminal loop true. Okay, normal CMD. OA true. Yeah, by the way, I'm not sure, but does actually Google Translate uh, properly read? Translate. So I will say something. Cursor. I will trust him. Uh -huh. Okay, so the cursor. Uh, terminal loop, normal CMD. Uh, skip term loop false, normal CMD. Ah, okay, and here is the end. Current AOP equals PV. Again, so instead of like go to, we can just. Uh, ah, okay, so. Yeah, maybe this is the only option because we actually. Want it here, and we want it uh, here also. So yes, of course we could just copy this statement into here and add a return, but it's called it's some sort of code duplication, right? Uh, exit but leave behind swap files for modified buffers. Get out, preserve modified. You define seek hub. Okay, so this is like Linux stuff. And if I seek ign, ignore seek hub because the dropped connection causes a read error, which makes a vim exit, and then handling seek hub causes various RAN trans problems. Okay, match signal, seek hub, seek ignore. Yeah, so this one is saying like ignore the signal, right? And this one is like match signal. Okay, I got it because I didn't understand earlier what is like match match uh, ML. Okay, it's like machine learning, right? Close not mod, close all not modified buffers. Okay, uh, sync all, preserve all swap files, close all, close all mem files without deleting, get out. Exit Vim properly. I see. Exit properly. This is the only way to exit Vim after startup has succeeded. We are certain to exit here. No way to avoid it. Okay, that's nice. Uh, exiting true. We are exiting when running in next mode and error causes us to exit. There's a non exit code. Logics requires us also. It's not about so we are. Right. Also, it's not like 100% clear from the standard. From which standard? Forzix or C. Mm, X mode activate, exit valve plus exit X exit valve. Mm, and I don't like it. I mean, yeah, maybe they're like um, having um, different. They have different number of, of digits, and then we can like easily understand which errors we have in the sum, right? Uh, set Vim var type exiting var number, Vim var number exiting exit val. Position the cursor on the last screen line below all the text. Uh, wind go to rows. Yeah, so this function is basically. Uh, Jumping, setting, setting cursor. Um, yes. Invoked all deferred functions in the function stack. Invoke all deferred. Let us defer. Defer. Okay. Uh, if defines uh, sin HL. Optionally print hash table, hash table efficiency, hash debug results. If we are using this, um, did any false? If dying minus equal one, we create some tab pages, buffers, windows, unblocking, trigger buff, and leave for all windows. Buff. 
but only once per buffer. Okay. So we are starting with the step page, then we go to next step page. For next step page, we are doing for all windows in our tab. Uh, we are checking that there is a buffer and it is actually valid. Uh, but if it's not valid, we'll just continue. Okay, otherwise we are saving it and saving that it is actually change something. And then we do like this variable, which I don't know, and ref. Uh, we are saying reference to a buffer, I don't know. We are applying basically uh, this buff window leaf to uh, this buffer. Also, we check like uh, we change this one to minus one if it's actually we did everything. And auto commands may mess up the lists. Um, first step page. Okay, and this one is interesting because next step page. Why do we do this? Ah, start all over. Auto commands may mess up. Sub list. Yeah, well, that's great because it means like we have a power in Vim script to change like things a lot. That's why we are doing this. So we are starting from the first page and we are also breaking. So basically, it's like a go to here. That's great. That's great. Uh, and yeah, but the bad thing is that we are doing it. We're doing it like a lot, even if the auto commands like not messed up, right? Um, maybe this one could be actually optimized, right? Um, trigger buff and load for buffers that are loaded. Okay, so we are just. Uh, by the way, why we did not do the buff for all buffers here? Ah, oh, wait. Here we're operating on. Windows. But here we have like first buffer for a window or not? Yeah, it's strange, right? Because we don't have a lot of buffers, so am I right? For all buffers, okay, so maybe we are just calling yeah, buff window leaf, so it's another event. Buff and load. For all buffers, um, of course, it's not now. We set, we apply auto commands. If auto sim did it, the buffer we break. But why we actually break if we have another buffer? Death trap blocks auto commands, but we don't. But we do want to trigger Vim leave, right? Uh, is auto sim blocked? Unblock. And plus plus unblock. Apply auto commands. Unblock. Write out the register history marks to swim info file. So this is like uh, dealing with Vim info file, which is by default enabled, I guess. Um, if uh, this expression, uh, we are in Destra blocks auto commands, but we don't want to trigger Vim leaf. Anyway, we are doing the same, right? But here we are doing um, Vim leaf, but we are doing it. Ah, okay, no problem. Uh, profile dump, it's like this feature. If uh, GUI in use and did any and we're both, uh, did image, give the user a chance to read the error message. So, did error message. Uh, no wait return false, wait return false. Position the cursor again, the auto commands may have moved it. Okay, it's logic. Yeah, I don't like that we have like a lot of this uncertainty, but maybe this is. We don't have really any options there. But of 
course programs need to be like sorted. I don't get this one, so we are even. We are definitely our term one green. Okay, guys, and I have one question, I guess. So here is like main C, right? Okay, let me put actually this uh, lol rack. Okay, I will close it temporarily, and I will say, I mean, this is a the only source code, right? Um, I guess, I mean, we have, of course, a lot of more, but other directories here, but I guess it's logically that everything in a source, right? So I'll just do, and we don't have uh, really folders here, right? So basically they're all, all files, but I guess it's not really true. For example, no, I think it's pretty true. I think it's pretty true. So everything here is a file. Uh, but I also remember that we have something called uh, maybe tools. No, maybe runtime. Yes, yes. So there is like some stuff here, but it is actually not a source code. For example, this one syntax highlighting, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, it's all like Vim script, right? Uh, yeah, actually, no, let's let's find something. Okay, view. Okay, <laughs> it's for a view language. How cool is Vim? Uh, I don't have anything. Okay, it looks like we have wrapped in text the default HTML C4. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, nice view. Okay, uh, anyway. Mm. Yeah, so what I'm talking about is that is like we have a lot of files right here. So. Uh, okay, guys, just now uh, my mom gave me some books and I want to show you something because it's really, really surprising. So what do you think, guys? Well, look what I have. It's uh, basically the the book of uh, like C, the first like C book, right? It's like C C ANCC language by uh, Kernigan and Ritchie. Oh my God, it's like wow. Yeah, I think I took it from uh, from library at university, and I just gave it back, of course. But yeah, it's really cool, I guess, to have it, just to have it, you know. Uh, it's for a fortune. Uh, okay, so I will start something with something simple. So we have a main C, and what is actually lines? Lines is, I guess, this one, right? Yeah, it's logical, right? So we have a plenty of lines of main C, but what about others? Uh, uh, why I'll ask is that I'll say like uh, actually sort. So I'll actually sort. Oops, uh, I forgot to put this sort up. Yep. So it is quite sorting, right? But the problem is that it's sorting like not numbers. So yeah, this one is bad one. So where is our main? It's like 3000, right? Somewhere here. Yeah, so here. We go. Yeah, so the problem is that uh, it is not like really the biggest file, right? So we can see a lot of stuff here is going on at the bottom. It's, lo it's a lot of bigger. But also, like, there is a lot of files which are less. But not so, so a lot, you know. Yeah, I was just hoping that uh, I was just um, hoping that main is like the largest one, but I see like the 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 most like of the files really are bigger than main. Okay, so it's quite cool. I mean, we have a lot to do, right? But here is the Unix, right? Uh, I don't see Windows, but I see it. I think it exists everywhere. Anyway, let's go 
uh, through the position the cursor. Okay. Drop stop on exit. What is drop channel? Oh my god. I don't think it's a multi threading stuff, you know. Uh, Lua. Wait, we have a Lua in the Veeam? Oh my god. Uh, fit. I don't know what is it. Okay, we have some features here. So basically, we are any girl with them like TCL, Ruby, Python, Python 3. Wow, it's nice. Uh, Perl. By the way, does it sound Perl? Ah, yeah, by the way, you don't listen, right? I'll, I'll make this listenable. Perl. Perl. Okay. Um, use icon V, icon V, and NetBeans. Okay, what is NetBeans? Is it like IDE? NetBeans. Because I remember this word. Yes, it's like it's like IDE. So why do we use Vim in, in NetBeans? Vim plugin? Is it like really Vim plugin? NetBeans. Okay. Uh, NetBeans. Uh, Vim NetBeans protocol. A socket interface for Vim integration into IDE. Okay, that sounds cool, you know. But the problem is that like NetBeans is, I think, it's not used anymore. But also I see that NetBeans is quite universal. You see C++, PHP, Python, Groovy. Uh, also it's like Apache. So it's, this it sounds Apache. Apache like. Apache. Apache. Okay. Uh, fits and yeah, it's like new. Uh, and I, I need to check is it open source? It may be right. Yes, nice, nice. It's open source. Oh my god. Oh my god, but it's written on the Java. Oh my god. Oh my god, NetBeans. Why did he write it on Java? And no C at all. Oh my god. Is this, this one is a C destroyer, you know? Okay, no problem. Um, yeah, we shouldn't uh, support this Java stuff. Uh, fit Syscope and... Okay, Syscope is, by the way... Is a cool is a cool stuff if if we are talking about this. No no no. Uh, C scope. I actually used it. It's like really cool. It's like really cool. It's not really cool, but uh, it's like as idea and it's really cool. But it's on practice, it's not really cool or really cool. I don't I don't know how to say. I mean, maybe I just don't like it, but the idea behind is very cool. But I didn't know that it's integrating with the Vim. With the Vim. Vim. Yeah, Vim. Uh, okay. Garbage collect. Oh my god, we really have a garbage. I'm a, yeah, so here you go, Windows. Uh, and match exit exit. Oh, okay, so this match uh, is uh, very strange. MCH. MCH, okay. Get the name of the display before GUI prepare. Sorry, guys. Play. 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 I don't think we can always trust Google Translate anymore. Get the name of the display before GUI prepare removes it from RGB used for external clipboard. Okay, so guys, to be honest, I am like um, there is like a lot of stuff uh, more easier than Vim, you know, like uh, X, like some terminals, some window managers. Yeah, and that's all. <laughs> I don't know, maybe X server. I think there are a lot. No, maybe X server is hard, but yeah, yeah. Also, there is like Valent, right? So. Also find the server arguments and the socket ID. Oh, socket ID and window ID. Early arc scan again. This one isn't used. 
So why do we actually don't delete it? Maybe for a binary uh, for a binary compatibility, I don't know. Uh, if defined uh, this one and this one and this one high net bins, uh, why don't E plus um, plus? Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, the compiler uh, in theory should handle it. So we are just parting this one, searching for a display and uh, this display. Um, main error, argument missing, x term. It sounds like x term, like specific term, but I think it's like some generic term. Um, so we are searching for surname. Uh, of course, it can be missing. Otherwise, we are actually performing um, performing saving of this argument with our server name and server list. Oh my God, remote uh, server arg. Mm, in case we have a way, don't fork when starting the GUI to edit files ourselves. Okay, so we we are definitely using forks. GUI do fork false. If defined feed GUI, defined feed GUI MS Windows, feed GUI MS Windows, string compare. Okay, so what do we have here? Some sockets. <laughs> yeah, and basically I just remember the subscriber. Uh, the subscriber asked me for a socket program. I mean, sorry guys, so if you want, if you really want like socket programming, like there is. Um, actually a book so yeah let me just show you um but i will need skype i don't have i think i don't have it um uh, maybe i have it actually installed let me just uh yeah let's check together actually uh, so something pdf no this is not the one Mm -mm. No, I don't have it, but actually I can search it, right? Um, C network programming. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi guys. Oh, well, it's not the same, but yeah. okay. So I don't really see it, you know. But um, I mean, the ones that I, I I I have watched. But yeah, the main problem is that you don't really have. I, I mean, you shouldn't have any problem with it. So you just type C socket and if you like understand that there is like uh, TCP and UDP and maybe some other protocols you may may just I don't know search for it or I mean if you're of course don't want to implement but the socket itself I think it's it's pretty easy so yeah basically you just uh, put some um, put some parameters here I mean you configure a socket but yeah you can just look it up so you can use this code sample as a base or find another code sample it really doesn't matter and just from here you can start and just dig what is this like scene family like what it can be what uh, and like you can ask uh, also chat GPT to create a TCP socket UDP socket and that's all because you you really have like only TCP and UDP, right? So that's all. So after that, uh, the 
the only thing you can uh, also do is like use different protocols right and for this one you just i don't know yeah you just uh, i mean of course if you're implementing it yourself okay then good luck but if you're just like using the existing one i also don't see any problems so you just try to find it on the internet and then you just try to use it and try to understand it try to yeah so this also i don't really, really see a need of book I mean, of course, you can like find some book, but if you just again, so I I don't prefer books, and yeah, so books are books, and programming is programming, you know. So and especially right now, if you can like find easily a sa sample codes, you know, uh, we have a chat GPT, we have a GitHub. Okay, yeah, I know sometimes like you not always can f can find like a perfect right, right? So, but. I mean, you can you can try at least. So uh, I don't know, basic socket. And of course, you can here you can select select like C. And yeah, so here example basic socket program for Wi-Fi Bluetooth based on TCP UDP. So you just you see here it's pretty simple. It's like uh, only C code um also it it even has <coughs> some description which is quite <coughs> rare it is written completely on c so basically i know here you see you see tcp client okay so let's look at it so where is this stuff yeah so here so it's exactly doing the same as child gpt gave us right Yeah, okay, so I have an email, so I'll stop the video for a second, but yeah, I think you got my point, so I don't think in our uh, in our age, or in our, like, 2024, you actually, like, must uh, read, read some books. I mean, you can, of course, I will not, like, uh, I will not, like, uh, deny you from reading books, I mean, I know that, uh, I mean, books are uh, made uh, because they're uh, there is a need of some right so but to be honest um, i think like most of programming books are quite old right um uh, but anyway yeah i understand that um yeah maybe in future we will not have any books i don't know uh but yeah i understand that maybe some of you are like like reading books just you like it it's your it, it is your uh personal opinion about books so yeah if you want a book of course you can find it but I will not personally recommend any books. Uh, yes, that's uh, yeah. I stop the video for a second. Um, yeah, so I I hope you got like my point, okay? Um, okay, so let's continue. Uh, okay, argument is missing. Uh, okay, here we are doing some scanf. Um, hex long, okay, okay. Uh, error if invalid argument. Uh, MS Windows, we are reading it just to different sockets, and that's cool, right? So, for Windows, we have Windows, and for Linux or everything else, basically, we have a GTK. And here is a tricky a little, I mean, I'm quite surprised, okay, because uh, GTK is like. Um, it's like a library, right? So and that's all. So it's like uh, it's like I don't know QT, okay? Um, yeah, I mean it says like it's like the most popular, right? But um, it's not the only one, right? So in case of Windows, uh, yes, I agree. Like we have uh, only one option, right? But for uh, other operating systems, I'm not quite agree with like having a GTK, but I mean, if the Vim has, uh, yeah, so it, it really like makes Vim just library dependent, and I'll just search for an Arch Vim. And we will see, like, uh, we will actually see. Uh, oops, wrong link. Uh, where is the installation? Okay, here. So we will actually see the dependencies and I don't see GTK. Okay, yeah, so here GTK, okay. And it's must have. Okay. 
Yeah, so that was what I'm talking about, right? So GTK is a uh, uh, GUI toolkit, right? But uh, actually, maybe there's like others. Um, yeah, let's actually do this one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so at least from Arch Linux perspective, we have only GTK. Qt is based on GTK. Okay. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I got your point. So GTK is the only one. Okay. Echo window ID, I guess. NetBeans. NetBeans cannot be used, not enabled at compile time. And this is strange. Ah, if not defined, right? Okay, overall. If not defined, no vmain. Get an optional count for vim argument. Get number arguments. Point to argument, index, default value. So we get a. We get a basically, we check its digit and then we from this A to I. Oops. And what else? What else? Oops. And then we just, I don't know, increment it or I don't know. And it's quite strange. Yeah, this part is quite strange. Check for R, E, G, V, I, V, M, V, U, D, F, X, M, sort of, sort of. <laughs> if, the if the executable name starts with R, we disable shell commands. If the next character is E, we run in easy mode. <laughs> what is easy mode? It's like for. It's like a noob mode, or what? <laughs> or it's like Notepad mode. If the next character is G, we run the GUI, GUI version. Ah, okay, I got you. Like G Vim, right? Okay, okay, nice, nice technique. If the next character, <laughs> yeah, I actually thought like G Vim is completely another binary, but yeah, it's cool. If the next characters are view, uh, we start in read-only mode. It's quite cool, right? So, if the next characters are diff or vim diff, we start in diff mode. If the next characters are x, we start in x mode. If it's followed by I am use improved x mode. Okay, improved x mode. Okay, like v is improved v. By the way, what is v? Ah, vi. Vi, sorry, good. Yeah, actually, I will do something. Okay, I will finish this video, and after that, I will do some stuff that I need. Um, and we have left like a couple of minutes. Uh, static void parse command name. Yeah, actually, let's end it now. Uh, I mean, I don't really have to make it like perfectly one hour. Um, so uh, put a like button, subscribe on my channel, leave a comment, and share this video among your friends, of course, if you have one. If you don't have friends, uh, just for the purpose of sharing the, of this video, uh, find and make friends and then share it. Okay. Uh, after that, you can end the friendship. Yeah. But uh, no, because if you end the friendship, you will not be able to share uh, future videos. So yeah, not end the friendship. Okay, guys. Uh, goodbye.